I'm going to show you how to use this awesome free tool called SEO Quick. So my name is Doug Cunnington. I'm the founder of Niche Site Project and I do a lot of SEO type work and I look at content a lot. One of my main tools to do this is this tool called SEO Quick. So the reason why it's so awesome is because it's free and it actually works. So SEO Quake is put out by the same folks that do SEMrush. So you can imagine that it actually works well for uh, this SEO tool company, this SEO, uh, I guess, data collection company, SEMrush, to provide us with tools to get us in the door. So this is a, a free tool. And I'll show you a couple key aspects on why it's so awesome. And then I'll show you in practice, like how I use it. So this will be a pretty quick one. I'll try not to ramble on too much today. So it works on, I believe, Chrome and Firefox at least. As we look at it, um, just the four main bullet points, you can do on-page SEO on its, you can look at internal and external links. You can compare domains and URLs in real time, and then you can export the data. So super helpful. And in fact, if you're, I mean, this is the kind of stuff where you could train a VA to do the, uh, <clears throat> to, to run these audits by pulling the data into uh, files and exporting it and then comparing it. And you know what? I just realized I have headphones in. I don't even need them. I have, I have another mic. So <laughs> let's, let's get rid of the headphones. I ruined this whole opening. And uh, oh, oh, as we're looking through here, we see that it's available for Firefox, whatever is an O here, and then <laughs> whatever. Uh, this is Safari right here. So they have a guide, they have a user guide, they have uh, configuration information, and then troubleshooting. So, you know, just across the board, they're, they're helpful, right? Everything's helpful here. It's a beautiful landing page, makes me want to install this free tool. They, they say high speed, low drag, real time SEO audits, SEO showdowns, and a link examiner. So, again, those are the four main points. Three million downloads. So, pretty fantastic. Here's some samples of like what the data looks like you know, here. So, you can see this is, we're going to look at this area mainly, but you can also get uh, information on your SERP uh, when you're looking. You know, if you look, at, look up something on Google, you can get this information here. I typically don't do that, but it is relevant depending on what you're doing. They uh, there's also like a I guess like a, a bar at the top that can display you know other similar information when you're actually on the page, and this is the stuff we're going to look at right here, the SEO audit. That's what I use it for mainly. Keyword density, another key thing that I look at, and then internal links. Um, for me, the the main stuff that I look at. It's really the SEO page audit and then the keyword density. And as we're looking through here, so they talk about the features. So they have the SEO bar that goes on the top. They have the dashboard that we're going to be taking a look at. They have the overlay for the SERPs, which is super cool. And then vast data. Keyword analysis, this is another portion with the keyword density that I look at. And then, of course, it's great to see this information in real time as you're browsing, but it's even better to you know, extract it, export it, and then you can actually look at uh, data and aggregate across multiple sites and get an idea of, you know, really what's going on across the SERPs or across different sites. And that's super useful. So we will move on to the tool. So I won't ramble on too much today. I promise you. So we're at the Sweet Home, cool site. I arbitrarily clicked on whatever uh, they had on their homepage, and I see it's the best hybrid bike. And if you want to see the teardown that I did of the Sweet Home and the Wire Cutter, plus a whole bunch of other affiliate sites, check out the playlist um, on my, uh, I guess it's on my YouTube homepage uh, or my channel page. You'll be able to see all of these different teardowns that I've done. So you can see what I like about this and what I don't like. But in this case, we're demoing SEO Rush, or sorry, <laughs> SEO Quake. 
So I've installed it already. It's configured. So when I click the SEO Quake button, it gives me the ability to get different information. So first off, let's look at page info. So it spawns a new tab. It is telling me this basic SEO metadata information. So it tells us the title, it tells us the meta keywords if any are entered. Turns out those don't really matter anymore. The meta description does matter, although Google does sometimes uh, not even use, they, they don't use the meta description in each case. So sometimes they just pull snippets from your site and place that instead. In this case, there is a meta description. There are 78 internal links, one no follow, and there are 134 external links, and those are 19 of them are no follow. Next, they give us some parameters around uh, page data, so we can see the number of Facebook shares, Google, Pinterest, and so on. The domain, it tells us overall information as far as you know, social backlinks. I believe this is going to be for the overall domain as well, not the page. Uh, they do tell you about the keyword density here, but we're going to take a deeper dive in a second. So this is just like data on sort of like the top 10 of uh, one through four word phrases. Okay. So that is the sort of general page info. I'm not usually as interested in this uh, portion. I will take a look at this basic info here, but usually I don't care too much. The diagnosis, if you click here, they will give you an SEO audit, right? So if you're, perhaps you're a uh, budding SEO consultant, you can use this tool to almost instantly get SEO page audit. So if you're working with a client, you can pretty quickly tell them a lot of stuff that's helpful. So 16 things pass, there's three errors and three warnings, and you know they say get 100 pages audit for free in five minutes, so you know, they have way, this is an upsell thing too, so. Uh, but you can get a lot of information here just by taking a look at it. Again, I don't often look at this too much, but if you were say training a VA um, to go through your site, this could be helpful. Um, they could, you know, look out for certain uh, like red flags and uh, things that you should change. So, for example, one one thing that they could do: there are twenty five images without a alt. So, you know, that's something that they can go fill in there, and that would be an easy win. Okay. Next, we'll look at internal links, so they, they list all the internal links, those are the links that go to other places on the Sweet Home. So I usually actually don't care too much about that, but if you're looking at your own site, you could get an idea like, hey, I want to audit all of the pages on my site to see if I'm linking to enough other pages on my site. That's a really important thing you may want to check out if you're auditing. Next is external, so you know, again, you would want to make sure you do have external links on your site. It's a good thing to do. Um, it provides information to Google about the sites that you're linking to. You know, hopefully they're high quality. Hopefully they're relevant to the topic. So those are like the two main things, but you should have outbound links on your site. Next, and this is what I actually care about, the keyword density. So the thing is, I, I'm very interested in the total words. So if I were looking at this uh, best hybrid bike niche and keyword, and I was gonna create a page to go in competition with the Sweet Home, I know that there are 9,320 words on this page. So that means I probably at least need to have that many words, if not more. It is a lot of words. And here is where you get the insight. So if you're, Let's say we're competing for the best hybrid bike as a keyword. So what we would want to do, and let's say we're, we're ranked like 20th, right? We're not getting any traffic because we're ranked 20th, but we're within striking distance. We want to make a move. So what do you do? You need to analyze your competition. You need to go check out the top 10 uh, in the SERPs, find all the niche sites, all the affiliate sites in the top 10, of which hopefully there's just like you know four or something. 
And you could also take a look at who's ranking in the top three. So out of those, maybe you have five sites to check out. You can go to uh, SEO Quay, you check out the keyword density, and then you, you can see the average length of the posts so you know how long you need to make your content. So for example, if you're ranking 20th and you have 4,000 words of content, but you see the top 10 uh, has an average of like 10,000 words, you know you need to up your game. In fact, you probably need to do about 12,000 words of content to compete with the other sites. So that's just the way it is. And the thing is, the data is out there, right? The data is free for the taking. So not only do you get to see how many words they have on their page, you can see their keyword density. This is so critical. So let's go to the three word keyword table. So basically this page has all the words listed and it tells you how many times it's, they're in here. So they use the word bike 1.48% of the time and bikes uh, about half a percent. So between the two, it's almost 2% they use bike or bikes. So that's interesting to note. That's the kind of stuff that you need to take into account. And this is you know, next level optimization to, to make sure you can compete, but this is how you have to do it. So I, I just needed to point out the table. So they have all the words, they have two words and then three words. So we're gonna look at the three word stuff because we're looking at best hybrid bike. So undoubtedly that's gonna be used a reasonable number of times. Hopefully, all right, let's, uh, let's say it contains, you can filter here, so there's a lot of there's a lot of words on the page. So we're gonna say contains bike. So this now filtered out anything that doesn't contain bike. We're gonna go back to the three word, and <clears throat> the interesting thing, actually, we'll we'll just cut to the chase here. Let's say best. I thought we were gonna be able to find it quickly but we did Okay, so best hybrid bike. Here's the kicker, right? Best hybrid bike is only used two times. It's used in the title, and then um, I think probably, let's see, where else is it used? So it's, it's found in the main header, in the title, and I wonder where else use it so let's let's actually take a quick look and that just goes to show you like how small like you don't have to use the, the thing you're trying to rank for often in fact you don't want to keyword stuff they, they only used it twice so and now for some reason I'm best Hybrid bike. So it's shown, uh, you know, six times on the whole page, but a lot. This is the original text, so it's in the H1 tag here, and then I guess it shows up there in the title. But the best hybrid bike. Uh, so that's the H1. So that's it. That's the only two times it's used in the whole article. Crazy, huh? So that means when you write your article you should use it the same number of times as them. You, maybe you could try to use it like one more time, but you could see how conservative they are about using the term that they're actually trying to rank for. So that's super cool. And you can save it as a CSV, by the way. You can configure a stop word list, which I'm not 100% sure what that is, so let's click on it. Do not know what that is. I guess um, you'd have to take a look at the help. We'll try and figure it out now. Last thing, you can compare different domains to check. So if you put that together, actually, I'm going to pause for a second and pull together like three others so we can see this comparison. Be right back. We are back, and I quickly Googled um, best hybrid bike, and then I see there are several results here. I took a look at bikesmarts.com, bikeradar.com here. So when we take a quick look, 
we can see this site, which looks pretty awesome. Um, obviously, an Amazon affiliate site, but you know they've done a really good job. I like the layout and everything. And then this other site here, which is um, Bike Radar, and it looks, you know, again, high quality site. They're obviously into biking and stuff. So, yeah, another uh, Amazon affiliate site, I'm sure. So, as we um, have a look, I've entered these three so that they can compare. Uh, so, SEO Quake can compare them. So, I'm going to process URLs and then. It is doing stuff, pulling data for us. It's telling us the link parameters, the Facebook likes, Google, Pinterest, and so on. And it looks like these are not loading. Uh, we'll say request all parameters here. So it'll load that data for us. So the thing is, it doesn't give us the info on a page uh, sort of level. So what I would do is go to the, the specific page. You click on the SEO Quake. We'll click on density. So that spawned a new window. And then we'll do the same for this other site, density. Then we put these three together. And we'll say three word phrases. We'll also um, filter it in the same way. Here, and we'll filter it in the same way. Here. So, what we end up seeing, I cough here for a second. Cough. So, what we see here is the sweet home, 9,300 words, and used two times. That is a very low density. We see the other side, bike smarts. 7,500 words, it's used five times, it's 0.2%. And then we see I finished coughing, I think. So then we see Bike Radar that has um, just under 4,000 words. They don't use best hybrid bikes in the title, they use it twice in the article. But um, it doesn't show up as an H1 tag, even though. So it's sort of strange, right? So it's actually in the title, Best Hybrid Bikes. And, <clears throat> okay, I see why. So I think, well, it's strange. I was going to say it's bikes versus bike, but it, it, it is sort of strange that it's not denoted in the specific title or H1. So it's like, their theme doesn't use an H1 tag or something. Now, in the meta the description, they don't actually use best hybrid bike, which I find a little unusual. But the lesson here, right? So the longest content is ranked higher. The sweet home ranks higher as more you know, words on the page. Those are more words that can be long tail keywords and eventually you know, that pays off people find uh, the information on the sweet home probably more helpful because it's longer. So the 7,500 words, I mean, that's pretty close to the same length, even though it's 2,000 words short, roughly, or 1,800 words short. But the point is having more content, normally a good thing, especially, you know, we're sort of in a content battle on who can produce the most. This sort of stuff is how you can analyze your competition, find out how long you need to make content. So... This is uh, SEO Quake. Videos are always longer than I intend. Let me know if you uh, found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, if you found this tool helpful, SEO Quake, go install it. It's free. It's totally free. Um, it's put out by the, the same people that do SEMrush, which is a really great tool. Recommend that. And if you um, found this helpful, I would love it if you considered subscribing to the channel. I talk about Amazon affiliate sites, SEO, project management, and productivity. So hopefully we'll see you around here. My name is Doug Cunnington. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.